it was given instructions. You don't have to be a man to sleep around. Just because you got a trousers doesn't mean you're a man. A man is a person who has principles, who knows God, who can say no to the devil, who can say yes to Jesus. That's a man. So don't tell me I'm a wimp because I follow Jesus Christ. It took a backbone of iron to turn around. That's why I love Jesus with all my heart. I love him and I don't really care what you think. I can look like a fool for him now. If you don't look like a fool for Jesus now, you're going to look like a fool anyway someday. The Bible says, at the, name of, at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. The thing is, if you don't confess now and your knee bows now, it's going to bow later. Whether you like it or not. Because Jesus is Lord. Somebody say yes. But I want to have all of God. I don't want religion. That is why maybe some of you don't understand me. I don't like religion. I don't like pretense. He said that God is with me or he's not with me. It's better to know where you stand with God. I don't want to live the rest of my life presuming I'm going to go to heaven. Because some of you think and hope you're going to go to heaven. Let me tell you something. If there's anybody here who is hoping to go to heaven, I can assure you you are not going to go there. Because everybody going there knows is going there. If you ask me, are you married to Florence? And I say, I hope. I'm married. I've got a problem. There's probably no marriage. You know who you are and where you stand with God. But my point is, you know, we sing all these wonderful songs when we come to conferences. I love you, Lord, with tears coming down our cheeks as Pentecostals. I watch this everywhere I go. Oh, God, you're an awesome God. You reign. Matumba is render my shaven from heaven above with wings. Don't power, love above. And let me tell you something here, folks. I want either God or I don't want Him. That's me. Some of you that like to walk like this, you know, you want to be in between everything. You are no good for nothing. The Bible says he's going to spew out of the mouth. And let me encourage you tonight. If you're not sure where you stand with God, come here. And this altar call will be different. It will be a free for all altar call. Just come and say, I've been in the middle too long. In a number, I've come to the front so that I don't associate with Jesus anymore. Help me to be away from Jesus. Some of you come and say, I want to be with Jesus every day of my life. This altar call will be for both of you because Jesus wants both those responses. He's the one who says, I wish you were either hot or cold. So you come and choose tonight, but don't remain in the seat. Because it's going to spew you. And I know somebody saying, brother, somebody said, brother, never saw I haven't even started yet. I love the Lord and I want to live for him. He means everything to me. He's the joy of my life. And listen to me. This is what I want to talk about. There should not be a price too high to pay for the gospel. Listen to me, church of Jesus Christ. If we really love God, we should not just sing it or say it. We should demonstrate it. This is where the world laughs at us. We are full of talk, especially Pentecostals. When they're announcing a crusade, we have a powerful, glorious, magnificent mass crusade. People like Apostle Simpson did the other night, that was classic. When he called a number of people to stand up and he said, I want everybody to touch their chins. 
And everybody touched their foreheads. Because he touched his forehead. People do not hear what you say. They see what you do. And I'm in a place now where I'm saying, do we have a Christian body in Zambia? Do we really have a genuine body of Christ in this nation? If we do, let's see it in action. You can't say, I love this woman. One of the greatest indications of love is to automatically give. Have you noticed when you fall in love, we are walking by shop, right? Uh, any shops, smart center or pep, whatever, you, wherever you go, or salaula, wherever you are, every dress you see, you think Susie can fit in it. You have no money, but somehow you have faith. Some of you even steal to give to Susie. You know why? Love, love is not talk. Love eats you. Love. Love. You don't freak. How many of you know what I'm talking about? Anybody ever fallen in love? Put your hands down. You're Christians. You're not supposed to. But here is the thing. Love. You, you feel it. It's like you have got clamps. And every nice thing you see, you want to get it for your partner. Hello? That's why the Bible says, For God so loved out the world. You have been a never seen. I love, I love never seen. Hey, let's saw your cup. I mean, I never snow, I never tell. He felt it. Every time we had your single one, two shots. What do you want to go? Somebody beats somebody you love. You, it's like they have beaten you. That's why the Bible says, He who touches Israel touches the apple of my eye. I have allowed people to do whatever they want to do to me, but never to touch my wife. That's a very sensitive subject. Because somehow there's a holy anger that comes up. So don't, don't, don't mess with that now. Just go ahead, call me what you want. Call me a frog, call me a mosquito, but don't you try to call my wife nothing. At least not when I'm listening. Because I'll lay hands on you. But love is practical. And I'm saying tonight, sacrifice. Tonight, our words shall be weighed on God's balances. I want to bring God's balance here tonight. I want to see whether what you say can balance up with your actions. Otherwise, you become a hypocrite. God, I love you. You are the best. Oh, my God. No, 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 God. That's the devil. Lord, I love you. I love you. There is this attitude of loving. Christianity is in the heart. And this is what I want to talk about tonight. But let me mention something. Sacrifice hurts. It hurts, but it is the key to success. I have never known anybody who has succeeded without sacrifice. I, and I do not know where you've got the theology that you can be a Christian with no event in your life. Where everything is nice. Everybody sings your praises. You are not born again. Because the moment you give your life to Jesus, all hell breaks loose. There is a sacrifice to this thing. For tonight, I'm ready for my life to be changed. I said to the Lord when I was praying this afternoon, I said, God, whatever it takes for me to let you know that you mean everything to me, I want to do it. Anywhere you send me, I'll go. If you send me to clean a toilet, I want to clean it. That's what Pastor Misha was saying when he went to Christ for all nations, he was cleaning. He was an office orderly. Now he's a doctor. Member of parliament.